Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I thought I would do a little declutter of my whole collection rather than going through absolutely everything. I've done that. I will link that playlist down below if you want to see really in depth of my makeup collection. But I was feeling like there's definitely a few things since my last declutter that I feel like I'm ready to let go of that I wasn't ready last time. Um, so we're just gonna go through my whole makeup collection and go through those items and see what I pick out and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy declutters. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed my video. Subscribe if you are new here and you do like me. But let's get into the declutter. All right, so here we're gonna start with my powders, setting sprays, and primers. Now I think I might start with my primers because I know that there is one that I do wanna declutter. It is this uh, Mecca Max Bounce Fix Beauty Balm. Now it doesn't exist anymore. It's, I don't know, I just don't reach for it. I don't use it. Um, I got this at work, so I'm gonna pass this along. I think that might be it though. I think I'm pretty, I'm almost finished this one. Um, there's a few that I'm trying to finish up to get out. I do kind of really like the primers that I own. With setting sprays, same kind of thing. I'm pretty happy with everything that I have, but I think I am going to declutter this one. I did really like it, and you can see I've used up to the L here. So I did like it, but I think I don't really want it anymore. It's a bit too dewy, if that's possible. Um, I love the dewiness of this one and this one here. So I feel like I am happy with these two. I feel like this is just a little bit too. It's quite oily, dewy. So I'm going to pass this one along. Here I just have like some single face products. So there's nothing to see there. Um, that's just a backup of my concealer. And then we have our powders here. Are there any powders? Oh, the thing with powders is I don't really get rid of them. I love, 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 love. It would be these two that I'm on the fence. I think I actually might get rid of this, you know. I just don't love it anymore. It's a little bit too yellow. And for me, I tend to wear powder in my T-zone. And because this is a little bit more yellow, it shows up on my skin, basically. So do I want to keep it for when I'm more tan? I see, this is the thing. Like, I'm like, do I keep it for when I'm more tan? So it doesn't look too, too bad on my skin now. But when it's on my face, I do notice that it does tint a tiny bit. So I'm not sure about that one. And this one I do, I've been keeping because it's designer brands. Oh God, it's the worst packaging. Um, it's designer brands, which is Australian, so I can use it for my Australian content. So I think I might keep it for that reason. Like it's not a bad powder, I just don't love it as much as these ones, but I think I will keep it for video purposes. And I think I might declutter this one. And that's everything in there. I did recently declutter, so this isn't going to be a huge declutter, which is why I just want to do a bit of everything, my whole collection. Um, the only one that I would consider is this one. However, I've only used it once, so I don't think I'm ready to get rid of it. So I might, I don't think I'm going to get rid of any concealers. I'm pretty happy there. Uh, foundations. No, actually, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I really didn't like the way it looked on my skin. I thought I was going to love it and it just, it looked weird on my skin. And I've seen it on other people and it looks stunning, but not on me. So I'm going to get rid of this one. This is the Josie Moran Vibrancy Argan Oil Foundation in the shade Supernatural. This is my favorite. Maybe this one. I might get rid of this one. I just have so many foundations. This is the problem. This is the Stila Hide and Chic. It just doesn't really do anything. Um, it's supposed to be a foundation. This is the shade Fair 2. Oh, I don't know. I, think I just love foundation. And that's a good shade for me. Nah, I think I'm going to get rid of it. I don't think I need this. I don't reach for it. It doesn't exist anymore. And I have ones that are similar that I prefer. So I'll get rid of that one as well. But I think that's it for that. Face palettes. 
Oh gosh, I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any face palettes. See, this one you'd think I'd wanna get rid of because it doesn't exist, but I love this. Uh, this is the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and beautiful, beautiful highlight. So I actually really enjoy using this. It's just in really old holiday packaging. Um, but everything else I love, this is a little um, build your own blush, Makeup Forever and Sydney Grace. So yeah, everything there I'm happy with. Okay, so here we have highlighter, bronzer, blush, and then all cream. Now I'm gonna start with highlighter because I know that I'm just not that happy with my highlighter collection. Uh, one that I definitely wanna get rid of is this one here. It's bulky and I don't really use it. It's from I Heart Revolution, the Marzipan Heart. Like it is like, ooh. It is actually really pretty, but I think it might just be a little bit too icy for what I'm looking for. And like, I'm fair, so I, I have nothing against icy, but this is like white. So I think I'm going to pass this one along. Love, love, brand new to me. <sighs> this one I don't love, but I also, you know, there's just some things you keep because you don't hate it. But like, I've used this so much and you just wouldn't even know. It looks like I've used nothing. Every time I swatch it, I'm like, that's actually really pretty. Mm, I'm going to keep it. I just can't let go of it. Uh, Kylie's new. I don't let go of that one. I'm going to keep that. I don't know if I want this one. Okay. These are on the chopping block. This one I actually love, but it doesn't, this brand doesn't exist. It was a little indie brand. Um, I'll show you. It's actually really pretty. It's like a pinky shifted highlighter. I really like it. So I should just keep it. I can't just get rid of things because they don't exist anymore, right? Um, this is new. I haven't really used this much. Yeah, that's quite pretty. I might keep that. And then this one, I don't know, because it's that same really icy as the um, I Heart Revolution. I don't know if I'm going to really use this. Like, it's really pretty, but I don't know. It's actually quite similar to the Il Musca, and I think I'd prefer to keep that one. So I might keep it with this one. <gasps> oh, no. See, I'm annoyed because I'm passing this along and I've just ruined it. Oh my God. Okay. Good one. All right. Well, that was a good one. <laughs> um, okay. That's good. I got rid of two really bulky ones that were kind of annoying me. And now I have more space. That actually feels really good. Okay. So I have a lot of highlighters. Because um, I don't wear highlighters. And I use a lot of highlighters in palettes as well. Okay, let's go on to cream. I love that one. It's the other one that I don't love in my shop stash. They're all good. I actually might bring this whole thing out. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this. This, I just don't use it. I, 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 I bought the wrong shades. This is Juvia's Place Foundation in Belize. I bought this for contouring, but I don't really love the shades, if I'm honest. And I love these cream bronzers way much more. Way much more? Way more. <laughs> See, that looks quite pretty. See, this is what happens. I swatch. I'm like, oh, it's not too bad. But I'm pretty sure when I wore it, I didn't love it. So I'm going to get rid of this one. I think I might get rid of this. I don't know if I really need this. This is just a clear balm. And I bought it for a Mecca Max video, but I haven't used it since. And I actually have another one in my project. This one is from um, Nude Sticks. And it's a similar formula, but it has a nice little bit of a pink shift to it. And it's that same kind of clear gloss. And I actually have a lot of this left. So I think I'm pretty good just to have one that's like that. Oh no, my nail polish. Oh, I'm not having a good time right now, am I? Um, so I think I might get rid of this one. 
I just don't think I'm going to, it doesn't excite me. I think that's what it comes down to. It doesn't really excite me. So I might get rid of this one and keep this one. This one I'm on the fence because it's so light. I know I'm going over. Like it shows up on my hand, but when I put it on my face, once I've got bronzer on, it kind of disappears. So I might actually get rid of this too. It's a nice formula, but that color just does not show up. And it's like, what's the point of having it if I don't even see it on my face? So this is the Flower Beauty Blush Bomb in Pinched. And then this is a Hourglass Vanish um, foundation stick in the shade Walnut. I got this at work and I thought it'd be a nice bronzer situation, but it might be too dark. Yeah, that's too dark. Too light, too dark. So I'm going to get rid of this one as well. And then I might lay these down. Oh, what's this one? Oh, that's my little makeup. I love that one. And then we have so much more space. I think that's what I've been craving is everything's been a little bit too um, too congested. I have a lot of blush, but I actually really love my blushes. I don't even think I'm going to get rid of any of these, if I'm honest. Um, Ulta is new. It's quite nice. Love, 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 love. Yeah, I think I am pretty happy with my blushes, actually. It was just certain categories I knew I wanted to dwindle down. So I'm actually happy with my blushes. Sorry if that's disappointing to you. And then my bronzers. I think I'm going to get rid of this one here, the Huda Light. I don't use it. It's a little bit too light for my taste. And I have the Charlotte Tilbury, which is actually darker and it's really fair on me so I think this is just a little bit too fair I don't reach for it so I'm gonna get rid of that one I just I'm so on the fence about this XX Revolution one all the time this is the shade demo but then when I use it I like it and then I'm like do I like it and then I do like it I'm I'm always back and forth so I think I'm gonna keep it because I don't hate it um, and then this one is a little bit too dark for me but when I'm fake tan it's good so there's ones that I don't reach for all the time. So yeah, we've got a long line of blushes here. So that's probably much better there. Um, and then my bronzers, I can still see all of them. Even though there's space at the back here. Okay, that is good. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so here is not going to be huge. Like mascaras, I just kind of use a couple at a time. So there are a lot of unopened ones in there. Um, I think I only need one brow soap. So I'm only going to keep one. This is too dark. I'm going to pass this one along. Morphe 2 medium brown it's not a bad product it's just too dark for me and i think i might get rid of the mecca max soap brow i do prefer the ultra three which is, they're both australian brand, brands if you're not watching this and you're not australian both soap brows i just prefer the use of this one so i'm going to keep that one and i'm going to donate that one and i think everything else in there i'm pretty happy with actually here i have eyeliners this is a new one and eye primers I have a lot of eye primers. That's a glitter. I have that one. That's really nice. One. I might get rid of this one. This is the KVD. Oh, that the whole thing was not in focus. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I really like this one. These are my eye primers. I like this one from P. Louise Mama Mitchell Acid Rain in Blank Canvas. I have the NYX. I have a nice drugstore one. And I have the... I also have the NYX Glitter Gel. So I think I'm going to do the KVD Shake Primer. Um, just because I prefer these ones more. Um, and I have a lot. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Lip Liners. Oh yeah, I want to get rid of this one. Um, Essence Draw the Line. It's just not a colour that I use. It's the shade... 
rich mahogany. So I'm gonna donate that one. Yeah, that's all good. So then we have, all right, so the angle that I'm at, I'm gonna start you in the first half here <laughs> and then we'll do the back half um, later because I don't want you just to see the floor. Uh, is there anything here I wanna get rid of? Like I said, I didn't do a, I did a declutter not too long ago. So I'm kind of just going through my whole collection and seeing what I want to part ways with. I think I'm pretty good with these, this section. All right. So here I want to get rid of this one. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude in Citrine. Now this just does nothing for me. It's too light on my eyes. It doesn't go well over shadows. It's not shimmery enough to be pretty. It's just a little bit bland. So I will show you. You can kind of see, it's not the worst, but it's certainly not. So yeah, you can kind of see, it's not, it's just, I don't know. It looks better on my hand than on my eyes. It looks a little bit clumpy on my eyes. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. And I think I could get rid of a couple of these glitters. Um, these are all my Mecca Max, which I like. I love my Ultra 3 Master Metals. I really want to convert this to another container because it's so bulky and the product's in here, but look how bulky this is. It quite annoys me. All right, let's get out all my glitters. Oh, okay, and then I have the purple one in my shop mustache. So this is the kind of, these are the Urban Decay Master Metals. These aren't the kind of products that I use a lot. If I were, I think this is the one I probably would use the least, which is Starfire. Yeah, I don't think I can see myself using that shade. It's like, it's got like silver glitter on an orange base and I don't really like that. So let's get rid of that one. I like this one, which is Gunmetal. I think I might keep that one. And I think I want to keep gold mine. That's quite pretty. I think I want to keep the other three. Cause yeah, they're not something I use often, but I still think these are really pretty. And well, that purple one's really pretty. Okay, I'm going to keep those three. <laughs> I love my Astralis. It's almost finished. Really love this one. So I'm going to keep that. That's my Wonder Nessa Mirix. It is getting really dry. Like it's supposed to just come out, but it's like really dry now. See? I mean, it still performs. So yeah, I'll keep that. That's such a pretty shade. I think I'm going to get rid of this Mecca Max. I just don't really use it as much as I thought I was going to. Uh, this is a Zoom Shadow Stick in Copper. And I think someone else would really enjoy using that. So I'm going to get rid of that. I love this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Goldilocks, and I like those too. So let's put all of this back. Okay, I was just watching these two stillers, and I love this nudie shade, and which is called Nude Awakening, and then we have something blue, which is such a pretty blue shade, which I don't wear often, but that blue is stunning. So I'm going to keep those two. And that goes there. So just a little bit more space up the end here. Which... All right, my lipstick is looking a little crazy at the moment. Um, and that was because I was trying to get something up the back here and I had to destroy all of this to get to it. So in terms of, let's look at lipstick first. I'm just gonna see if there's anything I wanna get rid of. Okay, let's have a look at my two pink lipsticks. Right, this is Bite Beauty in Cotton Candy. And then I have She App. Well, they are quite different actually, aren't they? And then I also have, look at my like really pink lipsticks. Um, I really like this one, Geranium from Lime Crime. And I have sentimental value to that one, so I don't wanna really get rid of that. I think I might get rid of the Bite Beauty just know that I, I love She App. So I might get rid of Bite Beauty Cotton Candy. I think I might get rid of Heat from Urban Decay. I don't really wear it anymore. I used to love it. But I have quite a lot of reds that I love. 
So I might get rid of that one. It is a metalized. And let's have a look at this one. This is uh, the reason is because these don't exist anymore. This is the Dis Disturbed Comfort Mat. Oh, I do love that. I do love that. So I'm going to keep that one, I think. I used to wear these shades all the time when I was younger. Oh, I forgot I have this pink too, Spring Break. This is more of a ready pink. They're all quite different pinks, aren't they? I just got that. Do I want to keep this? I don't know if I want to keep this. Actually, you know, it is quite pretty. Nah, no, we'll keep that. That is from Smashbox in Primrose. So these are all my NARS. I might bring my RMS up here because that was hard to locate. This is going to be similar. So this is Sin from MAC. They're quite similar. I might get rid of Sin because I actually really love Disturbed. Yeah, and if I'm going to go bold and dark, I go really bold and dark. So let's get rid of that one. I can't believe I'm getting rid of a MAC lipstick. Sweet Succulents. Mm, I think I'm going to keep that. That's a little bit different. It's closer to Rebel, which is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. Yeah, they're still quite different though. And then I've got Heart to Flame. I just don't wear these as much as I used to. Oh, that's very pretty. I think I'm going to keep that one too. I can't. Well, I got rid of one. I'm surprised. I did not plan that. I did not think that was going to happen. I think I'm ready to get rid of this brown one. This is the lip glaze from Lime Crime in the shade Moss. Like I used to would have worn, I used to wear that, but not so much these days. So I think I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I'm just going to do a quick run through of the rest of them. Here we have Rose Hip. I don't think I'm going to wear that. I'm going to get rid of this one. This is Rose Hip from Shiseido, the powder matte or power matte. Powder, modern matte powder lipsticks. Gosh, I have a lot of repeats. I'm going to get rid of this one. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, I do love this formula though. I love this formula. I got... Did I get rid of this one? Which one did I get rid of? Yeah, I got rid of that one. Which... This one looks in between these two. I'm going to keep this one. I do love a dark lip. And then exotic red. So I've got exotic red and then I have another red. Oh, they're quite different reds. I'll keep both of them because they're beautiful lipsticks. They really, really are. They're all my minis. I want to get rid of this one. This is the KVD Everlasting Glimmer Veil in Razzle. I got this in like a mystery bag and it looks really pretty to swatch, but it is horrible on the lips. It doesn't last. It cracks. It's just not a nice formula. I was thinking of getting rid of this one because these don't exist anymore and I don't reach for it that much. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one. This is the lip, uh, the NYX Lingerie in shade Lipley. Exotic. <laughs> Exotic. Yeah, see, I've got a brown here. And I would prefer to do a liquid lip in a brown over a lip cream. So, yeah, I think I've got my one brown. All right. I think that's it for lip. I got quite, I got rid of a lot more than I thought I was going to. So I'm pretty impressed with that. And then all we have left is eyeshadows. Okay. So just a couple more things before we get into the eyeshadows. I forgot in my shop, my stash, I do want to get rid of this, um, Cossus, uh, velvet melon color light cream. 
And the reason is, I think it's um, expired. So this doesn't show up too much on my skin. Well, not enough for what I like. And um, this is really nice, but I do have other ones similar. So I'm actually have to gonna throw this one out. I'm not gonna pass this along because it does smell like Play-Doh. So just letting you know, I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I have just um, off camera decluttered some brushes. So um, I have cleaned them so that I can pass them on. These are just the ones that I don't reach for. Um, I already have just over here ones that I do. These are my face and then here are my eyes. So um, with that, I am going to get rid of this BH Cosmetics number three. A little too dense to even use in my opinion. Um, this Hula bronzer from Benefit bronzer brush. Uh, Kevin Aquan contour brush. Um, this is just from eBay, Avani. This is the first brush that I ever bought. Really good quality actually, but I just don't use this one that much. Uh, these are both from Furless Cosmetics, which no longer exist. I have a whole set, but these two I don't use. A fan brush from Sports Girl. And then these two, Wet and Wild. They are not named in any way. So I'm gonna pass all of those along. And let's get into eyeshadow. I kind of have an idea of what I get, want to get rid of. And basically in my last declutter, I just don't think I was ruthless enough. Um, so since then I've realized I'm not going to use these and I'm not actually that attached to them and I'm ready to let go. So first one is this Marc Jacobs. Uh, this is the Provoca Couture. And this is, it's just not a color story I reach for that often. So I'm going to declutter this one. Um, I'm ready to let go of my Chica Y Chico One Shot Eye Palette. I got this from Stylevana. It's actually really good quality, but I was keeping it for this shade here. And if I'm honest, I have, I will show you, I have this Hourglass Scattered Light in Burnish, which I actually prefer. So this is very copper. And so this is a little bit more orange. Um, but this is just as stunning. So I will, should I swatch them for you? So they do look a little bit different, but I would be using them for that same purpose. And I just like the hourglass one that little bit more. So I am going to declutter that. And this is in the shade Chili Brick. Very nice if you are interested in this color store. It's actually very good quality, but I just don't use it that much. Um, another one I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of my little mini Dior. The time has come. I was holding it for nostalgia purposes, but then I realized I'm probably just not really going to use it. You know, I went away the other weekend and I thought this would be the type of thing I would pick up, but I didn't. I have lots of small palettes now, um, to choose from. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Oh, it's not easy. It's not easy to declutter eyeshadow. I think I'm finally going to get rid of this one. I was holding on to this for nostalgia reasons, but I'm just at a point now where I have a lot of eyeshadow. I, when I had this, this was my only eyeshadow palette. And I think that's why I held on to it. Um, it's such a good eyeshadow palette. I really am going to miss it, but it's not something I use anymore because I have a YouTube channel now and I use a lot of eyeshadows in videos. And this is not something that I can use. Um, so I think I am finally going to get rid of this. It makes me sad, but I've had good times with it and it's time to go. And is there anything else that I can see? I actually might get rid of this e.l.f. bite size in Carnival Candy. And if this wasn't blue, I'd probably keep it. If this was a shimmer of a neutral kind, I'd probably keep it. But I actually really love this shade. But that's not enough to keep a whole palette. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one too. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I never thought I would get rid of a Juvia's Place palette, but I think it's time. This is the Afreek. And it's just not a color story I would reach for as much. It used to be. I used to really love this. Quality is amazing. This shadow, I wish they were magnetic because I would take that out and I would take that out. However, I have other Juvia's Place palettes that I could probably dupe those two colors. 
So for that reason, I am going to part with this one as well, which hurts me a little bit, but I don't reach for it. So I need to get rid of it. So there's that one. And I think that is everything that I want to get rid of in my, yes, eyeshadows. So I got rid of one, two, three, four, five, six eyeshadow palettes. Considering I did an eyeshadow declutter not long ago, I'm pretty happy with that. And everything else I love. So I'm pretty, pretty satisfied. The only other one I'm kind of tempted is this one. But I haven't used it enough. I don't think I'm ready to let this one go. So I think I'll still keep that one. Yeah, I think I will. All right. That is everything from my declutter. There is another one item left that I want to get rid of because I'm not using it. I am not using it. It is this Juvia's Place. I got rid of the, I bought these as a set. I wanted this to be my contour and this is to be my foundation and it's too light. Both of the shades I bought were too light. Um, it is much lighter than my skin tone. I thought I could use it as a concealer, but I have so many concealers that I love that it's just not going to do it for me. So I am going to declutter both of those. Six eyeshadow palettes. Nine, eye, um, nine brushes. Six, seven lipsticks. 43 items I am decluttering. And they are going to some young girls who... I hope we'll appreciate this and if they don't they can share it with their friends <laughs> so that completes the video today give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new here i'll see you in my next one bye